is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one that came with a book. If you want to get the book, I'll show it to you in a second. You can go to ramenforever.com, and it's a rad, rad, rad book. If you have a coffee table, it wants this book. So this came in the box. I don't think most people get it, but nice guy hooked me up. I've had this before. This is a cup noodle chili tomato, but it's uh, it's a good one. It's a decent one. So, yeah, ramen forever. Now, this is a book, and I did an interview to be in this book like two years ago, and I forgot all about it, and I got an email reminding me that I did this interview for this really awesome art and lore and recipes and all sorts of cool stuff. I mean, it's a big book. Hardcover. The paper in this thing is like very heavy. I mean, it's like <clears throat> it's like 20 pounds away from being like business card stock. I mean, it's it's heavy duty. Anyways, there's like all these really neat photo. How can I do this so you can see it better and not to be upside down? I don't know. I can flip a couple pages. And... This one's pretty neat. Yeah, here we go. Ugh! I just want to be nice to it. Check it out. Check out the ramen bowl, it's a booby. <laughs> There's a lot of like kind of edgy stuff in here. We get interviews with other people too. But just like really neat shots. Check that egg out. Yeah. And then. Chunte burger? I don't know what that is. It sounds cool. But this this book is absolute like good stuff when it comes to like people who like ramen and art and trippy stuff. And if you like me, look. That's 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 uh let's see. Ah, oh, it's hard. I hate I like this camera, but I really hate it too because of the delay. But there's an interview I did two years ago. And then there's a couple shots. One uh, one is Prima Taste with the one with the fish balls, and the other one I believe is Mom's Dry Noodle Dan Dan Noodle. So, but yeah, big heavy duty book. Yeah, this thing is is rad. I haven't had a chance to like completely go through it. Yeah, there's what I'm doing next. Uh, the uh, or not next in two reviews from now will be the. Uh, Sapporo Ichiban Chow Mein. But yeah, super cool. I am, I am really, really happy about this. So, it's neat to be involved in something cool like this. Let me put it back in its secure box. It looks like the box was just like custom made for this thing. So there we go. Stay safe, book. All right, so we've got a chili tomato cup noodle. I'm going to show you something that's indicative. And first off, I, I hate our weather today. I'm like, I get all stoked. I'm like, oh, it's going to be sunny. I'm going to be able to do my reviews, and there isn't going to be any clouds, and I'm going to get good light. Well, uh, the sun keeps hiding. It'll be out and then it'll run away. So that's no good. 
All right, so first off, on the bottoms of these, they've got these little stickies. Come on. Come on, get off of there. It comes with this little tab, and you'll see in a minute. There we go, what that's for. Peel it back half away. They're listening to the the song from Frozen, you know, Let It Snow, or, ah, oh, I didn't turn the light on. Here, let me give you some brightness. There we go. That probably would have helped for the pictures of the book. Now, now, children, be happy. Oh, come on, I'm doing this so it won't get on the stove, and I'm still making a mess. I'm still making a mess, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the noodles, the water, and now the sticky little tape thingy. And you just basically tape it to the edge of the lid. Like right there. Uh, well, you know, it's a nice idea, but it's not working all that well. I think I got the cup of the water, side of the cup a little wet, but... And then that goes for three minutes. Of course, it's a cup noodle, so that's just... They're all that way. Man, I shouldn't say that. There have been a lot of cup noodles over the years, and some are more finicky. I think cup noodle vermicelli goes for less time, or more time, I don't know. New pasta goes forever. So yeah. Oh yeah, it didn't want to stick. Come on, technology. Anyways, let's look at our book. Of course, it is time to do our quote of the day from the fine tome, Momo Fukuendo Speaks. These are quotes by the guy who invented the instant noodle. So let's see. Um, yeah, the last one was self-defense is the road to ruin. Huh? Number 190. Here's the place where you'll want to work. Number 190. Everyone in the company should work with a sense of crisis. Wow, that would be so rad to put on the uh, employee handbook at a place you own. If you're working for me, you should feel like it's about to hit the fan 24 <laughs> 7. It's a crisis, it's a crisis situation. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny speaking of that, there's like this big thing that just came out about Coca Cola. Something about. Coca-Cola telling their employees to be less white. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I don't think that's what they did. They've got, I think that's what people are interpreting it as, but they have stuff new, like things like be more humble, things like that. That sounds like straight out of like, like talking about your humility and being humble. That totally sounds like out of a more like Asian playbook kind of stuff. They might be adopting like workplace uh, slogans and things that they do in other countries. I've seen stuff like that in Malaysia. Um, but of course here, that'll just make people pissed off because people, people can't find enough reasons to be mad and angry. So they have to like be mad and angry at new stuff every day. I think it's, I, I just don't get it. I'll harp on ridiculous things, but I don't know. I just don't know. Hell in a handbasket. The one that still I have trouble with is the whole mask thing. Is, is it really that bad? You have like a tissue on your face. People screaming, My, your, your First Amendment or your, 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 your rights in the Constitution are being abridged by wearing this mask.
I don't know. I thought in the, in the preamble, domestic tranquility. I think if nobody's wearing a mask and everybody's dropping dead, that's not very tranquil. But I digress. Let's check out this fancy, fancy tomato cup or noodle dealy. Come on, back up, back up. Let's not, let's not get crowdy. There you go. So, I'm gonna give it a nice stir. It, it, it stinks of tomato. It's tomato-rific. It's tomato land all over the place. So let's give this a try. Oh, I'm sorry, itadakimasu. Oh. Itadakimasu. I think that's how you do it. Just that little uh at the end of it. Itadakimasu. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's not my favorite. The noodles in this one are quite good. heard like a herd of water buffalo running out in the living room. That looks to be a pork chunk. No. Um, this might be egg. No, oh, that's more pork. Is this egg? Mm -hmm. Egg-ish. Got tomato. Spring onion. It's a it's a pretty good one, you know? It's it's got a it's not extremely strong. Tastes like tomato. I mean, it's as advertised. The chili side of it, mm, I'm not getting like, like a spiciness in any way, shape, or form. But it's not bad, and it's a very popular one in the Landsdrud. So, what can you do? I wouldn't be surprised if Nissan USA might bring this one over here too. I think that would be a really smart move. Nissan USA, if you're listening, that's free advice for you. Because one thing people for years have been doing is, is asking me over and over, what happened to the chili or the tomato ramen? Just call it cup noodle tomato. Don't call it chili tomato. People will think it's piping hot. Just call it tomato ramen and you'll be set. People will flock to it. Uh, I'm not going to do too much to this. I am however going to add some pepper flake because I do want that heat. And I'm going to add, uh, of course as you just saw, I added some spring onion. And now we're going to add a little bit of the seed of Sesame. All right. That was a phone notification. And we're just gonna pump in a little bit of, of oil. Not much. So let's let Rotato work its magic. Um, that. Not too close, not too far away. Well, ah, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Enjoy.
right, that works. Uh, I added a little bit of beef there. Beef and tomato is one of the uh, hallmarks of British noodle cups. Uh, there's a golden wonder variety that's beef and tomato that's excellent. So I figured I'd add some beef in it. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next one I'm doing is a tribute, of course, to Nunuk Nurani. Spice mixer for Indomie. I haven't done a really nice Indomie one for a while, and I got some absolutely... Yeah, that egg. That egg. All right. See you tomorrow.